It was funny, I showed him in this right after he turned a year old and the judge was like, hey, I haven't seen those trims in a long time. He looked at him really close. <laughs> All right, so now we have our shapes. We can go in again, just like we did there. And now we're gonna create that line with the clippers right next to the skin. And I'm really, you know, on a toy, you're talking about, you know, a quarter of an inch. So I'm really just wiggling the clipper. Just, I'm putting it in where I want it and then just doop, 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 doop. On a standard, obviously you're looking at probably double that, more like a half inch, if not a little bit more, depending on the size of your standard. But if you make those spaces with your scissors first, it makes it easier for you to take your clipper and put it in there rather than trying to set it with the clippers. And then you just come back in and keep cleaning it up. All right. And then we scissor this rear end down really nice and tight. And they used to, um, and they, I still see them do it occasionally. Um, they used to trim this down really tight and then they would re-wet it and make it curly. So I don't know if you've ever seen, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's fabulous. Um, if you've got a dog with a really nice coat, it looks really cool. Um, I actually did it for a grooming competition one time and I didn't get any placement, but I got several judges come by and go, hey, I haven't seen that done in a while. <laughs> I was like, is that good or bad? What am I doing? <laughs> All right, so this is going to form the jacket up here. And this is going to form the saddle back here. And then we have our tuck up right there. Okay. So now we're gonna set this tail in, take our straights, and we lay it right next to the edge like that. Yeah, he's always here. <laughs> so is Mello. <laughs> Mello's always here too. All right, so the next thing to remember is we want a nice level top line. No, we're not doing your top knot, baby. Stand up. Thank you. We want a nice level top line, so however short we trim this is going to make our top line. Okay, so if this has to be nice and flat, and then it rounds out to the side. So I always come straight forward right like this, right along the base of the spine. <laughs> and make a table. And you do it like that, you yeah, don't you know. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get that confident in my life. Yeah, you'll get there. I didn't used to be either. <laughs> I didn't used to be either. And that's literally almost to this, you can see his skin right here. Because he's arching himself up a little bit. But that's how short it is. It's not a big, it's not a big poof. The big poof comes from over here. And then it's a nice, so this angle's in here. So make it nice and flat across the top and then come down over your sides. 
<coughs> Don't curve around your butt because you'll take your butt off. Just make it a table. Let them let, if they have their tail down, just let them leave their tail down and just come straight across like that. Just follow out, don't go down around. Are you gonna fall asleep? More than likely, his daddy used to fall asleep. His daddy passed away in the beginning of the year. So I, I lost my first one. All right. Okay, then we're gonna curve out around the hip, just like we would on anything else, and down to that little spot that we made. <laughs> and especially when they're overgrown like that, you, you have to just keep fluffing it up and taking more off. And if you want to practice it like big and poofy, as long as you're getting the right shapes, that's okay. And we don't want to cut all this off because we want that jacket into the tuck up and back down to here. So we go out around the jacket. I'm probably not going to take a lot off of his jacket because we haven't been trying to create that because we've been doing Asian fusion so there's not a lot there. So I'm probably just going to shape it a little bit because I'm going to want to grow that out some more along with his ears. I need to take a look at him real quick so I can see. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Okay. All right. This is the hard part about teaching. <laughs> you have to do it backwards. <laughs> All right, so we're...